All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on our Turk Test Tuesdays. So this is going to be episode four, and we're moving up to the 18 slash 20 volt tools. And the first tool that I'm going to be testing will be the Master Force 20 volt tool. And this one, just like the last video with the Milwaukee, the M12, we're going to start testing the different batteries. So I have a two amp hour battery on the tool right now, and then I have a four amp hour up there on the charger, um, just topping it off real quick. And that way um, we can test the different battery capacities and see if we get a little extra juice um, by jumping up a little bit bigger battery like I have on the skill uh, 12 volts. Um, going over the tool itself, this is a brushed 20 volt tool. It's rated for 1400 inch pounds. So you divide that by 12, you're looking at like 100 and like close to like 120 foot pounds. Um, I'll put the number on the screen for um, for you guys. And then um, it's zero to 2400 RPMs on the drill. And what does it say? Zero to 3200 impacts per minute. Um, no um, special modes, a single mode. You do have an LED light on the front and then just your variable speed trigger, like most impacts. And then you get a regular quick change call. Nothing too fancy on it. It's, I would say it's about the same size as the Milwaukee brushed impact that I have that'll be getting tested next um, or next week. So it's kind of in the same class, similar class, I should say, but price wise, it's a lot, lot cheaper. Um, going over the test, test rigs going to be all the same. We're going to do five seconds of impact on all five bolts. And then we'll measure the re readings, um, breaking it free. We're gonna go step up to doing only foot pounds from here on out, just because these tools are gonna start putting out more uh, torque, and um, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to just do the inch pound reading. So we're just gonna stick with foot pound torque readings from now on. So five seconds impact for each one. We'll put the reading down for foot pounds of torque to break it free. Do a little calculation to figure out how much it actually applied and then we'll move on to the breakaway torque test and with this since it's claiming 1400 inch pounds of torque i'm assuming that's breakaway torque um, we're just going to go immediately to the larger bolts and i might actually go and buy some more of these bolts and then we'll just replace these smaller ones with these so we'll just have five of all the same and then and the future test, we can just start from here and I have a little bit easier time doing the breakaway torque settings instead of having to constantly reset it. Yeah, that's all I got. So I'll get you set up, we'll do the five seconds impact. And as always, wearing my ISO tunes here in protection because these are getting pretty loud and my hearing's already starting to go and I want to keep it as long as I can. Okay, here we go. Two amp hour battery. It's got full charge on it, full bars. Five seconds per for the three uh, for the three quarter inch, and then for the inch and eighth.
right, so now we're gonna do the breakaway torque for the two amp hour battery. So this first bolt, big bolt is torqued at 100 foot pounds, and then this one's at 110. And then if we can get past that, we'll go to 115, and then 120, and then we'll just keep it stepping up by five until we can't get it anymore on the inch and eighth sockets. There we go, first one, 100 foot pounds. No Okay, 205 foot pounds is probably going to be the limit, hopefully. Alright, 210. Okay, 210 foot pounds with a little 20 volt impact. Uh, I'd say that's pretty good. So, like I said, in the future, um, probably for next week's video, these bolts will be gone, and it'll just be uh, three more of these three-quarter inch bolts that use the one-eighth inch socket. That way, it, the whole test will be consistent, because as we've seen, if this one is you know, blowing past this and doing over 200 foot-pounds of um, torque, or being able to break away 200 foot-pounds of torque, um, the next drills I have, the Milwaukee and the Metabo uh, brushless, they're going to be able to blow past this because this is about, e like I said, it's about equal with the uh, uh, the Milwaukee and um, the Metabo, the brushless Metabo is miles past both of these. And if you look back to some of the impact test videos that I've done with the Metabo, compared to not only the 12 volt tools, but the, you know, the mass force in the Milwaukee, it just blows it out of the water, whether it's drilling, putting, inserting screws or drilling one inch um, holes with a, a spade bit. It's, it's got so much power and so much torque. So it'll be interesting to see um, how much it's actually putting out on these bolts or how much it's able to break away on these bolts um, in the next couple couple weeks here. But I'm not gonna go to the four amp hour battery just because I'm kind of running out of muscle strength for today. And I might have to get a cheater bar for next week and find a different platform for this to work on because this bench isn't secured to anything. It's just sitting on some saw horses. So I'll have to work something up to um, be able to put some more torque down on these. But as of right now, the Master Force has maxed out at 205 foot pounds of torque, which is crazy for breakaway torque, I should say. And then it's fastening torque that puts it a little over 100 foot pounds. 
on the small fasteners. And then for the larger fasteners, there was 154, 142, add another 20%. That's gonna put it at about 180, 170 for these for fastening torques. So that's pretty good for a small little impact like that. This is more than capable of taking off lug nuts on any vehicle, um, any small vehicle, so your pickups and your cars. When you get to more industrial settings or more commercial settings like your semis and stuff like that, you're gonna want an actual dedicated half inch, a half inch impact gun. Um, so those, that would be like the other Master Force impact gun that I have. That one's actually brushless and has different speed modes. That one, I think the lowest rating on that one is like 250, uh, 250 foot pounds, and then it goes up to 500. So I won't even be able to test that because my torque meter that I have is only, is maxed out at 250 foot pounds. So in theory, on the lowest setting, my half inch impact wrench would max out my torque meter. And so I don't really have any way to go past that right now. But, um, That'll conclude today's video on the Master Force half or the quarter inch impact wrench or impact gun. Sorry. Um, and I'm really surprised that it kind of blew the 12 volts out of the water. Like it's not even close for how, uh, how much torque it can break away on a bolt and also how much it can fasten on a bolt as well. So like I said, next week we're going to upgrade these three to match the two uh, three quarter inch bolts. And then um, that'll be just kind of where we're at from now on for everything. Cause we only got two more impacts to do and then um, it will move on to the actual drill driver. So I've only got three of those or four of those. I've got the one skill drill driver, two Milwaukee's of the 12 volts. And then I have my um, M18 hammer drill and we'll test all those and see what the torque ratings are in those. Um, just just kind of see um, how, like I said, how accurate these these tools actually are based off of what the manufacturer says and then based off the rig and how they compare to each other. But that's all I got for you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.